Police release a suicide note from the Florida woman who killed herself after a cross-examination on CNN's Nancy Gray show. Before I read you the dead mom's last words, here is the interview that sparked the controversy. Where were you? Why aren't you telling us where you were that day? You were the last person to be seen with him. And we've already gone out and distributed the flyers. And spoke right. To Why aren't you telling us and giving us a clear picture where you were before your son was kidnapped? Because I'm not going to put those kind of details out. Why? Because I was told not to. Miss Duckett, you're not telling us for a reason. What is the reason you refuse to give him the simplest facts of where you were with your son before he went missing? It is day 12. Now, after that interview, Melinda Duckett, of course, wrote a suicide note to the public. She said this, quote, your focus came off of my son. You created rumors and twisted words. I only wish that you do not push anyone else. There were many errors you made in understanding me. Meanwhile, the big mouth blonde has seen a surge in her ratings. Nancy Grace averaged 689,000 viewers the first three days of last week, well above the show's average viewership of 534,000. That is almost a 30% increase, leading some to ask whether Grace is exploiting this mother's death, a death that many say she may have helped precipitate with her interview. She using it for higher ratings. With us now, we have psychotherapist Dr. Ravi Ludwig. She also regularly appears on Nancy Grace's show. We also have media analyst Steve Adovato. He's also the author of Make the Connection. And still with us, Rachel Sklar, from media editor from the Huffington Post.com. Steve, let me start with you. CNN says this is not about ratings. Nancy Grace says it's not about ratings. Do you buy that? It's absurd, Joe. It's all about ratings. Um, my problem with uh, Nancy, I said it before, I'll say it again. It's like beating a dead horse here. Nancy Grace doesn't see the line. She saw an opportunity, Joe, her producer saw an opportunity to jump in in the situation. She acted more like an interrogator, like the prosecutor she used to be. That is not the role we play as journalists. She pushed this woman. I don't know if she had anything to but, do but, with this woman committing suicide, her, I mean, but she, she didn't help, her, Joe. Though. Say she it again. She pushed her, though, obviously, she pushed her. because it, it, that's her... That's her shtick. That's help, that helps her in the ratings. And so, again, we're not just talking about what happened that night, but what happened right. after that. And she replayed Joe. this and replayed it every night. And she's seen her ratings go up. And she keeps replaying it. And when I suggested to the Associated <sighs> Press in a story this past week that CNN would stomp anybody else that tried doing this, but they wouldn't do it to Nancy Grace because she's the ratings queen of headline news, they denied it, said that was ridiculous. What do well, you say? Well, that's ridiculous. And, and, and by the way, a 30 percent increase in the cable news wars, news wars, that's big. That's huge. And so they're not going to touch her. But here's the issue from my point of view, Joe. Forget about Nancy Grace. This is an opportunity for all of us in the media who say we want to do the right thing to ask ourselves this question. If we had a 30 percent pop in the ratings, would we, could we be able to live with ourselves if we potentially had contributed to somebody committing suicide who was emotionally and psychologically not prepared to be on television. Nancy Grace is not staying up at night asking herself that question, but what about the rest of us? None of us are in that position. Nancy is. She's not only backing, not only not backing down and saying I did something wrong or I need to look at it, she's going all out saying if I can make more out of it, I will. She's prosecuting a dead woman, and it's totally irresponsible. Hey, uh, Dr. Uh, Ludwig, uh, she is prosecuting a dead woman, isn't she? And isn't she doing it because it's good for ratings? I don't think so. Listen, anybody who hosts a show wants to put out a story that's interesting to their viewers. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Nancy is interested. I mean, that's true for all of us who host shows. And anybody who denies that is just being dishonest. With parameters. Steve, do you don't know Nancy. Nancy is a very caring individual. She has been very supportive. Yeah, yeah you can really Josh tell when you Duckett. watch her on the air. Listen, Nancy. Nancy has a certain style. People either like it or don't like it, and that's everybody's choice. But the bottom line is the victim, during that clip, what you don't see is Nancy was equally as tough on the husband at that point in time because it wasn't clear what was going on. So she was equally as tough, and he handled it well. The husband answered all the questions easily and effortlessly and honestly. Great. This Great. is a woman who clearly was troubled. It's so unfortunate but, what happened. But it but you can't blame though, at the her. same time, though, well, I mean, at the same time, though, you say that it, that people like doing shows that have good ratings, and maybe that's why Nancy Grace is doing this. But at the same time, as Steve said, there are parameters. Yeah, Don't you think Nancy Grace crossed the line when she just 
kept going after this woman after she was dead. What purpose does that serve other than spiking your ratings? Well, I think it's important to understand the truth of the story, and I think that's what Nancy is trying to do. And still, there is a little boy out there who has not been found. And so Nancy, in calling attention Joe. to this story, is trying to help resolve this case. Joe, that's the job of unresolved. law enforcement, Joe. Respectfully, it's the job of law enforcement. It's the job of the authorities. If, in fact, the media's job were to prosecute and persecute and find out the truth in the middle of an investigation after a little boy has been dead for a few weeks, question. What is the role for the law enforcement authorities? Then why don't we, as the media, take over judge, jury, executioner? It's insane. There has to be parameters. It's why we don't do this. And by the way, you know, not everyone you know, does everything for ratings, and we do draw a line. I didn't Nancy, say for ratings. I didn't say for ratings. You I said say we're people, all trying to put on no. a good show. People who host shows want to put stories out there that their audience likes. There's with nothing limits. wrong with that. With limits and parameters, there, Nancy there has is none. nothing wrong with I that. I guess that's there, subjective. Can I just jump in here? Can I just jump in here? Well, because... oh, oh, yeah, I, I, I want to ask you, Rachel, first, okay. though, to look at, look at the, this clip, because Nancy Grace doesn't take responsibility for Melinda Duckett's death. Uh, in fact, she takes a different tack. Take a listen. I do not feel that our show is to blame for what happened to Melinda Duckett. I did not go after Melinda Duckett. Correction. Melinda Duckett refused to answer questions to either myself or police about her child's whereabouts. So all the people that have been riding me like a mule about questioning her, I would advise them to A, take a look at the presser today where police name her the primary suspect, well, well, well. and B, join us in the search to find this baby. Joy. Rachel, uh, what's that about? All right, well, this is about a number of things. I really think it's important to separate out the issues because, first of all, there's the issue of whether or not Nancy Grace is a wonderful, caring person. She has a certain on-air personality. So the question becomes, what are those parameters and who gets to set them? Because when do you want to flip it over and decide who gets to decide what's quote-unquote appropriate behavior? That's, that can be a slippery slope and, and one that I think that we want to approach carefully. Supporting Nancy Grace's right to say what she wants on the air and behave how she wants on the air is very, very different from supporting how she does it. Obviously, she's not a warm and cuddly individual. Obviously, it was um, incredibly aggressive, her questioning of Melinda Duckett. But I really think that the issue here is the fact that CNN ran that interview. It was taped. They ran it after she was right. dead. I think that's Steve, the sleazy Because it was a ratings that, winner, Joe. Steve, you know what, Steve? That's a great point she makes. I can't even imagine what NBC lawyers and what the standards people at 30 Rock would say to me if I told them, listen, I kind of beat this lady up in an interview. She just killed herself. I'm going to run it on my show. They would, Joe. They, I, they would drag me out of the front. Of the, they, they'd never let me do it. Joe, I want to believe in NBC and at Fox and, and most of the folks, and I don't know the folks at CNN, but I'll tell you what, I am stunned that CNN continues to not only defend Nancy Grace, but to promote what she is doing as if there are no parameters. Look, I said it before, I'll say it again, we're all in a ratings war. The question becomes, at what point do we ask ourselves if it potentially contributes to the death of a woman, be it she was involved or not? And by the way, if she was a suspect and the police are saying she is, what did Nancy Grace do to help the police pursue the case? Because if, in fact, she push this lady underground and potentially contribute to her death, then you'll never know what happened. So how is that pursuing that is the truth? A, that's a really tough burden to put on any interviewer. Hey, hey. We, and also, we've, got to, we've got to go, uh, but Robbie, I've got to give you the last word. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I think if this woman threatened to commit suicide if the show aired, that would be a different story. But, you know, listen, it's a judgment call. It's hard to know what to say about it, but I think Nancy's heart is in the right place, as is her show. No remorse. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Rachel. Again, it's not the interview that concerns me. It's how she and CNN have used it since.